Buying arrows for a compound bow for 3D archery or hunting seems like it's never been more complicated. There's a ton of great options for shafts. There's a ton of great options for components. And with all of the information available, it can kind of seem overwhelming. My goal today is to show you how easy it can be to get the best arrow for hunting or 3D archery for a compound bow. At the end of your order or at the end of this video, you're going to get an arrow that is tailor fit to the specific bow that you are shooting. It takes less than a minute to fully complete the setup. We have two arrows to choose from. We have a standard diameter shaft. This is a carbon weaved shaft, or we have a multi-layered carbon non-weave 204 diameter shaft. So whether you're a standard diameter guy or you're a small diameter guy, we have an arrow for you, no matter your pursuit. On the home page of the website, there will be a menu tab, the three lines at the top. Go ahead and hit shop up there and hit arrows. You'll see two different arrow builders. You'll have the standard diameter, the Exodus MMT, or you'll have the small diameter, the Exodus NIS, whichever one of those you're interested in, just click on that builder. So for this video, I'm gonna build some Exodus NIS arrows. That's our new shaft for 2023. So I'll walk you through how to build my arrow. So the first thing you need to do is choose your quantity. You can buy these in a dozen or half dozen. Hit the arrow to the right and it brings up your draw weight. It's critical to know the draw weight of your bow. That's gonna be one of the factors that determines the spine that you're gonna be shooting. And don't worry, you don't have to know that stuff. You do have to know your draw weight, but we will select the spine for you. Say you have a 65 pound bow, but it's actually drawing 68. That might bump you up into a different spine depending on your draw length. So it's important to know exactly how much weight you're pulling for your draw weight. The next thing we need to know is your draw length. The draw length helps us determine the correct arrow length and will help determine the correct spine. Sometimes your bow is gonna have a sticker on it that says the draw weight and draw length, or you can check the mods and those will have certain draw lengths in them. Or another quick way without your bow to determine your draw length, stand with your arms out wide and measure from tip to tip and divide that number by two and a half and that's gonna be your draw length. The next critical point we need to know is what point weight you're shooting. Your broadhead weight or your field point weight is gonna also be critical in knowing what the correct spine is for you. So for me, I'm shooting 100 grain broadhead and I will select 100. Now the let off is another aspect in determining the correct spine and it really only helps if you're on the verge between 300 and 350 or 300 and 250. Most newer bows are going to come standard with an 85% let off or up. Chances are it's at 85 so if you're unsure just select 85%. The next critical point is kind of up to you and I have some recommendations best based off of broadheads. We have a Q2i Fusion X2 vein and you can get this with three or four fletchings. If you're flying a smaller fixed blade broadhead or a mechanical, this is gonna be a great choice for you. It's a low profile design, ultra quiet vein. You can get this configuration with an offset, right or left. If you don't specify, it's gonna be two and a half degrees to the right. You can also get this in a four fletch configuration with the same offset choices. For those guys that are shooting a larger fixed blade broadhead, that's gonna be a really great choice. Then we have the AAE Hybrid HP. We chose this vein for a couple of different reasons. For the folks that want to customize your arrow setup with colors, we have the AAE Hybrid HP available in 14 different colors. But this is gonna be a great all around vein if you are unsure of what broadhead that you wanna shoot, whether it's fixed or mechanical. This vein in a three fletch configuration with a two and a half degree offset to the right or left is kind of the do it all vein for us. So this is another great option for folks. And the last configuration is the AeroVein 2. This is a super high performance, super high spin rate vein. It's a very technical vein. It's best used with fixed blade broadheads under an inch and an eighth cutting surface that are vented or mechanicals. This is a fantastic, fantastic performing vein. Once you choose your vein configurations, you're gonna have to choose what insert you wanna shoot. And for the NIS, it's a half out. It's built by Firenock and we have two different weight configurations. We have a black anodized aluminum half out and this is going to be 18 grains. And then we have a stainless steel half out and this is gonna be 50 grains. One thing to note with the inserts, there is an additional carbon tube on the front six inches of the shaft 
That's gonna beef up the structural integrity of the front of the shaft. Also gonna give you some better flight characteristics, but that carbon insert also weighs 20 grains. So add that to your insert weight if you're trying to get within a certain weight range on your arrow. For me, I like the aluminum, but for the FOC guys, the stainless steel half out is really, really solid. And then there's three different knock options. We have the fire knock non-lighted. There's also a fire knock lighted that uses the same knock. And then we have the boning blazer knock in white. The fire knock's available in red, blue, or green in the lighted variation and non-lighted variation. The important thing to know about your knock is the fit on your string. So the fire knock is gonna be a little tighter. If you have a center serving that is 108 thousandths to 112 thousandths, the fire knock is an outstanding knock. Or if you have a center serving that is 112 thousandths, 114 thousandths to 120 thousandths, the boning blazer knock is gonna be the knock for you. And lastly, all you have to do is choose your build time. We can have these built for you in five business days or less. You have a two to three business day option and a next business day option. If you're in a pinch and need some arrows, we got you covered. At the end of the build process, you're gonna see that the spine is selected for you. So the optimal spine for your bow setup is gonna be chosen for you. You don't have to know any of this stuff. And it's gonna give you your total arrow length, the total weight of the arrow, and the FOC of your arrow. So if those are things that you're into, those statistics are provided for you. Now, one quick note on arrow length. We are typically building these arrows to be a half inch shorter than your draw length. If you want something different, when you get to checkout, there's gonna be order notes. Just specify the arrow length that you want. We can accommodate all sorts of custom requests. If you have a vein configuration that you love, just let us know. We won't fletch them. We'll do everything else, spinal line them and send them to you. Or for the guys that wanna build your own arrows, we do offer these in bare shafts as well. So you can still get the Exodus arrow system and build them the way that you want to build them. The entire goal of this process is to simplify the arrow buying process. We wanna make sure you have the best possible arrow for your pursuit this fall because when it comes to the moment of truth, you gotta trust your equipment. If we wouldn't shoot the arrow at a world-class animal, it doesn't leave the office. Head to the website now, exisoutdoorgear.com, and build you some arrows.